How you doing? Welcome to Fuzz Off episode three. three. Yeah. Episode three. We can do it like this. Episode three. <laughs> <laughs> Two finger Mexican oil change. Uh, we got some cool stuff to talk to you today about. So let's do now trending. Now trending. So we could start. Let's see. What's more sad, Chuck Berry dying or Kanye West wearing a cute old Firth's <laughs> Let's do Chuck Berry first. Let's, let's start off the episode <laughs> with. That's not funny. You know, no, let's stop. Legendary stop. man of rock and roll, Chuck cool. Berry himself. Right. Charles Edward Anderson. Barry. That's a lot of names. That yeah. is a lot of names. Uh, he was born October 18, 1926 in St. Louis, Missouri. And unfortunately, he passed away at the age of 90 on my birthday, March 18th, 2017. 90 is a pretty good life, though. In Wentzville, that Missouri. Dude, I bet you that dude was just a maniac. Just party animal, you know? Oh, yeah. Right? Well, it's just rock and roll, dude. Sex, drugs, rock and roll. Yeah, right? did not. But us, we're not sex, drugs, rock and roll. We're like, no. we're like power nap. Prescription pills, Cheerios. ibuprofen, yeah. <laughs> Nintendo DS, Lullaroo's, <laughs> spandex up. pants, spandex pants. I want to live like Chuck Berry. Just dude was a maniac, man. Didn't the guy pretty much started rock and roll? He did. Yeah. What's your favorite Chuck Berry song? Um, Back Johnny Be Good. Back to the Future. Chuck, Chuck, it's your cousin Marvin. Chuck, Chuck, it's Marvin. Your cousin Marvin Berry. I'm a scat man. <laughs> and you know what's funny is that a lot of people got inspired by Michael J. Fox because they really thought he played the guitar on oh, that song. He didn't play the guitar on that song? No. I think he played it. I think he played it. I, I do. It kind of looks like he's played I haven't watched that in a long time. I just watched it about two weeks ago. That was an amazing Yeah, does he not play it? What's your I watched it when I was a kid. Song? Uh, Johnny be good. Johnny be good? Yeah, Johnny be good. I got two. I got two, and one of them is Route 66. I mean, it reminds me of the movie Cars. Yeah. I'm a Disney nerd, so a disc nerd, I guess you call it. So every time you walk into the Disneyland parks, you hear that song playing in Radiator Springs. And then my other one is like my theme song, My Dingling. You want me to play it for you? Let's do, do under it. 15 seconds. See, here we go. Here we go. So here we go. Let's see. So my dingling is my theme song. When I was a little bitty boy, my grandmother bought me a jubilee toy. Silver bells hanging on a string. She told me it was my dingling ling My dingling. My dingling. Have you ever watched the like live footage? It was done like in 1972. Yeah. And it's so funny because the crowd is actually singing to him and it's like all young girls, like 13, 14 years old. He's like a pedophile. That's what actually got him into recording people <laughs> shitting. I'm a scat man. Did he, did he get busted for uh, like videotaping people shitting or pissing or something like that? I don't know. Let's see. So was he the guy in Mexico that sculpted that? <laughs> That guy you're talking about last, Mexican, last yeah. Not only was he a pioneer for rock and roll, he was also a pioneer for voyeurism. Yeah. The, the Look, infamous Chuck Berry breakfast story. <laughs> uh oh. Video yeah. shows naked blonde woman and Chuck. Oh, wait, wrong one. Eat poop eating. <laughs> He's oh, that's a scat man. I'm a scat man. Hold I'm on here. Scat. <laughs> <laughs> I love just looking through Google results. It's like, <laughs> do you think, I, you know what? I think if you're famous long enough, you're just eventually gonna do some ridiculous shit, man. You know? Literally. Yeah, dude. Dude used to stick cameras behind holes in bathrooms, dude, and take chicks creepy peeing. Dude. So he was taking okay, crap. So hold on. So he was like the king. Of, he was like the pioneer of glory holes too, in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap, dude. He's all, hey girls, here is my dingling. <laughs> like in a glory hole, you know, go to Chevron bathroom in Missouri. <laughs> Just creeping it out. You think if you were as famous as Chuck Berry, you could be like. Here's 50 bucks. Take your shit. I'm going to watch it. Or here's 50 bucks. Just give me a good time. Wow, dude. Some dark stuff, dude. Wait, yeah. how? What's that? What is it? Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, I guess the whole part where you have, like, an obsession with watching chicks shit and piss. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Okay, so on that subject, would you let a girl do that to you? What's that? Like a golden shower. Uh, no. That's gross. I don't know. 
How much? <laughs> Just joking. No, no money involved. <laughs> Like yeah, a, no, like no, a guy or a girl comes up and you know pulls out a tarp and is like, I'm here for the wet job. You know, I'm just curious if there's actually like, I mean, there has to be an actual sexual fantasy associated with getting pissed on. There is. One time I got super like, drunk and I shit on myself. Does that count? Did, Kinda. Did yeah. you get a boner from it? <laughs> I don't know. I blacked out. <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid. No, check this out. All right, hold on. Back. Let's take it back over here. Wayne shit. Johnny sheets. Be Good live in New York with Michael J. Fox. Is this before or after the Parkinson's? Uh, it looks before, right? Oh, he's ripping. It says this, this is performed live at MetLife Stadium, 17 July, 2016. Ew, and he's playing with Coldplay. Dude, he's short. I hate Coldplay. I think Coldplay hates Coldplay. <laughs> it looks all right. It looks like he's doing all right. He's sh- he's really short. I didn't realize he's Joey, that short. Joey, sh- somebody should put a slug in John- in Michael J. Fox's hand. You ever yeah, seen Photoshop that site it. where they put right. the slugs? They're ripping on slugs. It should be a gif. Yeah. Yeah. I'm joking. <laughs> you know who else died? Uh, Chuck Bears, the Gong Show host. Gong. <laughs> I knew the gong show. I've watched a couple episodes, but I didn't really watch it. I was too busy watching um, <coughs> He-Man and Ninja Turtles and stuff like that instead. Dude. I was watching huh. MTV when Ninja it was Turtles. MTV. Yeah. Ninja Turtles was rad. Ninja what, Turtles was rad. When Sorry. MTV was MTV, not right? Not 16-year-old girls getting pregnant. And that was so. kind of MTV when we were watching it. What was the premise of the show? What, did you say something stupid? He got gone? Amateur talent contest franchise by Sony's Pictures. Uh, best remembered for absurd sense of humor. Each show presented a contestant between amateur performers of often dubious talents with a panel of three celebrity judges. Uh, you know what's funny? Speaking of gongs, do you remember that last show at the Flycatcher we played? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jake went with us, and he went off on his own adventure. And I guess he went to Mr. Head's where they have karaoke. And uh, Jake started singing, I Baby Got... What did he sing? Baby Got Back. Baby Got Back. Yeah, metal he, style. Yeah, metal yeah, style. yeah, yeah. He got, like, one bar into it, and they gonged his ass. And on the whole way home, he was like, he's pissed, dude. He was mad. Why? I, yeah. I'm a great singer. I'm like, dude. But dude, he actually happy. slays. I've heard him do that before. He actually does a really good job. But... 14 shots in? Well, I don't know. I wasn't there. But it was <laughs> also Mr. Heads. I don't know. I thought Mr. Heads would be down with some, like, metal covers. I don't know. You ever, I don't I've, know. I've been a few times. I heard people getting gonged. It's brutal, though, man. Yeah. I'm I've always gonging the shit out of people. There. I've always wanted to go to the karaoke bar and just start singing karaoke horribly. You ever do that with impressions? You know how everyone tries to do really good impressions? I could do scooby Doo. If I found out if you just do shitty impressions, like a shitty Arnold impression... <laughs> It'll ruin someone's day. You're like in a party. <laughs> you know, like if everyone's all, and you're like, I'll be back. And like, you know what? Well, what the fuck was that, dude? I thought you know? I should have done the cartoon impressions. Look, I'm Mike Tyson. I'm Mike Tyson. And people are like, you know what, dude? It's late, dude. I got to get going. I got to get out of here. I do it's a, early. I do a great yeah. Scooby Doo and a great Tigger. Yeah? You can hear it? Yeah, hear it. The Tigger is. <laughs> See? It sounds just like him, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, the t- I'm gonna have to test you against. I do him. a pretty good Jackie Chan. I'm gonna test him right here. You hear my Jackie yeah. Chan? You just fall down. Hey, I'm Jackie Chan. I do martial <laughs> arts. It's pretty sick, dude. Do my own stunts. Do you want to hear my Morgan Freeman? Yeah. I'm Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> Shitty impressions, man. That's where it's at. Raggy? <laughs> Shaggy? No, I saw the com- who the comedian was it? Jim Norton. He was just saying, if you're not good at impressions, you just if you do more hand motions or just more movement, people think the impressions better. You're like, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. So let's talk about the Ripple. Second Coming of Heavy, uh, Chapter 5 is released on March 23rd. 23rd. Who's on it? Is Who's that the, it? Is That's going to be like Desert the Sons and the Chiefs. Five? S- yep, Chapter 5. Yeah. Both from San Diego. Yep. A lot of people don't know uh, the Chiefs are good buddies of ours. They were actually, we did a 7-inch on Battleground Records, and Chiefs were on the other flip side of that. That's our first song we ever released. Yep. Yeah. And um, I have a seven inch. Yeah. You. Do you remember we went? Uh, so funny. Remember? Speaking. Of, remember we went to um, fucking ba- or what's the place called? Screaming Banshee. <laughs> My favorite joke, man. The lady. I was like, "How big is your pizza?" And she's like, "Oh, it's fourteen inches." And I'm like, "What is that like? It's like that big, right?" <laughs> like like so fourteen all, inches. Yeah. 
Hey, I get it. I get it. Ha <laughs> ha Funny guy. Yeah. She, she, wow, that was like a horrible impression of her. <laughs> <laughs> I had a few drinks of me. Sorry. Oh, man. It was a birthday dinner. <laughs> that place is cool besides you if you have a big party. That whole nonsense about... Well, a big party like this? I know. Yeah, how big of a party? It's about that big of a party. <laughs> Maybe that big. I think they... So they wouldn't split our checks, but the food's good there. Food is good. They wouldn't split right. our checks, though. So if you have like 10 people... They want just you go just sit at your own tables and then push yeah. your tables together later. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be sneaky about it. On the plus side, they ask for blink if you want blankets. Yeah, and they yeah, and they don't have children's pizza, but they have children's cups. Anyway, second coming of heavy. Um, so we, I got to be a part of the art for this whole second coming of heavy series. Carrie and I in Ghost Town graphics. So that. Did you just yawn? Nope. Did you yawn? Nope. That was me. Are we? Is he really that boring? No. Anyway, here's the art. Not so boring. 